Good afternoon again. So we're talking about tone color today and we are doing question one from 2009. So let's, as, as before, let's have a listen and then we'll, we'll go and discuss. You to answer question one. Here is the first plane. You can hear it's asking you to identify three tone colors pretty straightforward you can hear three tone colors so let's just go over these three tone colors here is the second plane big question is what is that tone color that is it's it's a, obviously a percussive one, so people feel tempted to say xylophone is actually a glockenspiel. So the xylophone is for woods, glockenspiel is for um, metal. Spiel. You can also describe, because it's a tone color question, you can describe the quality of the sound. So metallic sound, light. So that's the first part. So that plucked instrument, lute, plucked instrument, okay, middle register, basically, and then we have the third tone color. Here, a third tone color, and that's a mouth organ. Some people say it's a kazoo. Some people think of a, um, uh, yeah, like a, I don't know what you call a mouth harp. Uh, Got to look this up. But yeah, mouth organ. You can say it's a bright sounding tone color. All right, so we have three tone colors, and that's fine. We just answered that question. So the second part of it is how tone color emphasizes the change in texture. So let's just go back and have a listen. So da 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 you can hear at the beginning in the beginning the glockenspiel plays a single melody in the higher register even though it's not a pitch question it doesn't hurt to describe it and the texture at this point except is thin and monophonic So 
So that's the, it's thin and monophonic because we have one single line happening. Let's the peri. The piece will be played five times for you to. So the lute enters and plays the same melody in octaves in a lower register. The texture is thicker but still monophonic because monophonic means we have one melody. So. You can hear the mouth organ plays, plays a different melody and the lute and glockenspiel part or melody is unchanged. Okay, so the texture here is when the mouth organ enters is polyphonic and at its thickest or dense. So that's how we can so at we can make overall comments at the start the texture is thin and then it gradually thickens as more instruments are added in. Now we can also illustrate this using graphic notation. So I just want to show how I would do this. So first we have the flute, sorry, not the flute part, we have and just ignore that little bump, it's just me being a little messy. But first we have the glockenspiel part. And then the next thing we have is the lute entering and playing. And then we finally we have the mouth organ part. So we can see that they come in at different points. We can even call that a staggered entry. So that's where they come in. Oops. Yep. So this is where it's thickest and we can label each part accordingly. So that is the glockenspiel, excuse my shorthand, and then we have the lute and then we have the mouth organ. Okay, so just to illustrate that. Now that's just a really simple way to answer that question. Um, with graphic notation and points. Okay, let's see what you have come up with, but that effectively is, is great. Answer the question. So over and out. Thank you very much.